Notice anything new? This is my new way of making walkthroughs that I feel like is a little more personal. These are just the thoughts that go through my head when I'm making a digital painting and hopefully you'll find it helpful and there'll be more in the series with an animated version of moi voicing over the tutorial. So without further ado, we'll just get straight into it. After I finish blocking in some basic shapes and colors for the background, I'm starting on the sketch of what's going to be a little girl sitting in the mud. I'm using a color that contrasts the background so that the sketch stands out. Here I'm just trying to adjust the colors to fit the overall mood of the drawing. Don't mind this, I'm just making a custom brush for the raindrops to make the drawing them a little easier. If you want a more detailed explanation on how I create brushes, comment below. But for now, we're just going to focus on the piece as a whole. Now I'm creating the final lines for the little girl, filling in her features and the outlines of her outfit. One tip I have for any beginner artist still learning the basics of shading is to use the blending modes in Photoshop to give you some colors for the shadows, like I'm doing here. What I do is I select the base color for the thing I'm trying to shade and then either multiply, select multiply if I'm making the shadows or color dots if I'm making the highlights. After I put down the colors that I want, I create a new layer and then use color pick to blend the colors together, adjusting the colors as I see fit. Once I figured this trick out, it saved me a lot of time from picking out all the colors manually. I don't use this trick all of the time, but I definitely keep it in my back pocket, so to speak.
I'm not sure if you noticed, but I never erased the lines from my initial sketch. This is because of the fact that I don't like to lose the quality of those lines in the final painting. So what I do is, I paint over the sketch in a new layer and slowly rework the lines back into the painting as I blend the colors out, as you can see here. That way, it still looks like the sketch from before. Sorry little girl, I'm just fixing your eye because it was looking a little wonky. All better now. One of the hardest parts of this drawing was making the girl look wet. First was the hair. I had to make the curls look elongated and shiny and have some hair stick to her face. That actually wasn't as hard as when I tried to paint the actual raindrops on the face. It was intense, I'm not gonna lie. You'll even see I tried playing around with the hue and see if that helped, but no. None of my Photoshop tricks was going to help me. I had to buckle down, take a look at a reference, and do it the long way. But in the end, I think the results were totally worth it. Isn't she cute? What's the hardest thing that you've ever had to draw? Or something that you don't practice often? Leave a comment below.
Now to just finish up on the background, which consists of a lot of blending, blending, blending. I used a lot of contrast and shadows and highlights to make the mud look wet and then added some more grass to the background. I decided at this point to add more life to the drawing with a snail and small frog. A few tweaks and that's it.